day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Code Blocks lesson. Today, we're going to make a pilgrim's hat, so let's get cracking. All right, so you need to visit Tinkercad, and then once you get here, choose Code Blocks. Once on the Code Blocks screen, you need to choose Create New Code Block. We're going to hit New Design. And the very first step is to put hat and our initials. If you want to put the word pilgrim's hat, you can do that as well. And we always start by clicking modify and creating an object. So today we are going to create a hat. So when you click it, you need to rename it to hat. The parts of our hat are going to be made of shapes. We are going to make our hat with a cone. When you bring the cone out, drop it under the hat and you need to stretch it out pick the color black for the pilgrim's hat and we're gonna make its top radius instead of 10 7 we'll make the height 15 and we'll make the sides 64 when you hit play you'll see that you've got a pretty neat pilgrim's hat remember you can look at it from angles you can zoom in with the plus and the minus notice it's below zero that's our first adjustment is we're gonna hit modify and we're gonna move it up so it splits exactly half so since our height was 15 we need to raise it up 7.5 now when we hit play you'll see that our hat is exactly where we want notice this time I am right click dragging to take a look at my pilgrim's hat we want the inside of our hat to be hollow so let's duplicate what we just made and put it down below. Take the second one and turn it into a hole. Make its top radius 6.5. Make its bottom radius 9.5. And make its height 14.5. And let's only raise it up 7. So it's a little below the top extra. When we hit play, those two parts will come together, and if we look underneath, you will see that it's ready to cut it out. To cut those out, we simply put a create group underneath. We do want it to be a solid, and when you hit play, you'll see your two parts come together, and when you look under, you'll see that your hat has been cut out. Let's add a brim to our hat with the tube. When you bring out the tube, we want to make it black so it'll look like a brim and we need to change its parameters as well remember our hat had a radius of 10 so if we use 13 for the radius of our brim it'll go three millimeters past 13 take away at 10 is 3 so let's do a wall thickness of 3 so it stops right at the edge and then brims are thin so let's put a 0.5 I do want it to look round so let's make sure we type 64 for the roundness and when we hit play you will have almost instantly created a hat with a sweet brim let's add the cool band and buckle that goes around it but let's make that in a new object instead of typing all those words let's just call it band that's a lot easier to spell and we're gonna make it using one of those sweet tubes this time when we bring the tube out, you get to pick a different color. I'm gonna go with brown for mine. I'm gonna still use that size 10 radius because I want it to be the same size as the bottom of my hat. I'm only gonna make it 0.5 for the thickness of the wall. And then I wanna make it a height of four. I am gonna do the 64 sides. And when we hit play, you'll notice that it's halfway below when it first draws but then we can simply use our move to move it up to where we want it since the thickness was four if I move it up to 0.5 it'll be on top of the band you can customize that thickness to whatever you want I can see there's a little gap between my band and the cone so I'm going to change this to 0.75 so it's a little more thick now that we have our awesome band 
let's create the buckle. When you bring out the new object, do a rename and call it buckle. We're going to build the buckle with a box. Click its parameters, make it the goldish color, change it to five. One and five. So it's a square that's only one chunk thick. We do want an edge of two so it's rounded. We also need to move it out in front of our hat because right now it's hidden. So let's bring out a move. And we want to move it out 10 because remember that is the radius. To come towards you, you type negative 10. And then we also want to raise it up half its height, which would be 2.5 but we're going to go three so it's above the brim. When you hit play, there is your buckle. We're going to duplicate those, make the second one a hole, and make it four and four. Let's check and see if we like this height. We're probably going to have to raise it up, but let's see how it looks anyhow. Ooh, that does actually center exactly, so that's perfect. We can now take our buckle, and we can use create group. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. That is a super simple code blocks project that shows you how you can take multiple shapes, arrange them, group them, and create an awesome pilgrim hat. I'm gonna watch it draw one more time just cause that's my favorite part. And I hope you had a ton of fun with this project, as did I. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.